Welcome to a Big 12 Tournament Preview Edition of Talking with DJ here at CycloneFanatic.com. I'm Chris Williams. want to remind everybody that our Big 12 Tournament coverage brought to you by our good friends at Iowa Realty. TJ Otzberger, Associate Head Coach of the Cyclones. i got to start with this. Your team, I would assume, has to feel extremely well about itself going into the tournament. They've got two straight wins, the Oklahoma State game you know, against the top 15 team, and then you got another road win. That's been the critique of your basketball team all year. Uh, got a little dicey there in the second half, but the guys looked really confident, I thought, all day. Yeah, I think our guys came out with great uh, resolve defensively. We did an awesome job from a team defensive standpoint. Our guys were really locked in and active. We loved how we played in the first half. Obviously in the second half we weren't thrilled with our defensive effort, but there's something to be said for when the team is down substantially, the reckless abandon they can play with, just driving it at you and shooting it. It's definitely easier to play offense when there's nothing to lose. So we've got to make some adjustments when we get in those situations, but overall happy with the effort and coming out with a win. I like the draw that you guys got down in Kansas City. Uh, Oklahoma is a team that you just lost to a couple weeks ago by a fairly significant margin down in Norman should you get past the first round which would be the second round actually you get Kansas a team that I would assume your guys would really be motivated to play against that basketball team again uh, I, I just assuming the guys just have to be itching to get down there based off of how these brackets are set up Absolutely. With you know, with the Oklahoma game, I mean, that was twelve. You know, twelve days it'll be from the time we lost down there, and and they gave it to us. I mean, we were we were down. You know, I forget the numbers, but probably twenty most of the game, and 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 didn't compete the way we needed to. So you'd like to think your guys would come out and, and want to avenge that loss and come back and really bounce back against them. And then, like you said, it's a one game season, one game at a time. You're not trying to look past Oklahoma, but certainly I'd be I'd be kidding you if I didn't say that playing Kansas again is something that would be really exciting. For us. How much do you want to get a bit win in the Big 12 tournament? Because you've been here a while, and it's, it just hasn't been a, a kind venue for Iowa State, really, in, in a decade, well before you were in town. But I, I, how big of a step would that be for this program to, to make a significant run in Kansas City? Yeah, it'd be huge. It'd be huge to get the win from a standpoint of NCAA tournament implications for us. It'd be great just to build that momentum going into the tournament. And, and again, playing the teams that we have lined up against, you, you couldn't ask for a better matchup for us to have a chance to play Oklahoma. And, and potentially Kansas again. So it, it's games for us that are games that, that there's a lot at stake and, and we'd really like to play and, and, and come out with a win. So exciting. A lot of uh, awards handed out on Sunday in the Big 12 Conference. Marcus Smart, the player of the year. If you if you had a vote, if you were a head coach, is that who, who you would have come with? Absolutely. There's no player that enacts winning more than Marcus Smart. And he's he's a guy that's you know made them eight or nine wins better this year. So absolutely, I think he's he's the most valuable player in the league. Uh, well, and it shows, too, the strength of the league. I, I think that it was probably looked down upon a little bit too much throughout the year. But when Pierre Jackson, a guy like that, doesn't even make the first team, I, I thought that that was pretty significant with the Big 12 awards announced on Sunday. Looking ahead to the tournament, though, Coach, um, Iowa State aside, I mean, I see six teams potentially, including Baylor, who stuck it to Kansas on Saturday, who really would not shock me if they would win this thing. Is this as wide open of a field as you've seen? It definitely is. I don't think there's one dominant team, and I think you could make an argument to go six deep, especially with Baylor just coming off that win against Kansas, that you know anything could happen. I mean, Texas, even as a team that's you know playing in the playing games, is a team that could get hot. So it's, it's really up for grabs. It's anybody's race. You've seen Kansas team that can be very dominant at times, and you've seen them at times where they haven't been as dominant. And, and I think that goes one through six deep for sure, and maybe even stretches into Texas that – on any given day, anybody could win, and I, I would be very shocked if all the favorites won the games in, in Kansas City this week. It's going to be an exciting week in Iowa State, Oklahoma, 1130 on Thursday. We will be there. All of our coverage brought to you by Iowa Realty. He's TJ Otzelberger. So long, everybody.